Hello and welcome to the birthday gift. I'm shuffling six cards. I'm going to lay them down and uh, choose three that will tell us which, which perspective we're going to look at first. Okay. Um, okay, so we have the emperor here. We have the empress here. And this will determine the emperor. So we're going to look at the masculine's perspective first, Cancer, and then we'll get into the feminine perspective here. So I'm using the vice versa tarot, and it is double sided. So the masculine perspective will be on one side, the feminine will be on the other. And I will use the pronouns he for masculine, she for feminine. Okay. It's not gender specific. I just use those uh, pronouns because it's easier to converse or to relay the message that way. All right. So, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please give me the masculine perspective of the situation. Um, hmm. Somebody's gone cold. Okay, the masculine feels like the feminine has gone cold. Or the, the masculine is feeling the feminine's back here. We have the Queen of Swords, but we don't see her. We see just her back and it's ice cold. All right, these uh, cards. Um, hmm, feeling left out in the code here. With the Five of Pentacles, the masculine is feeling abandoned. Uh, there's this sense of lack here. Something's missing, the masculine. Almost like his sense of security foundation um, I am getting, um, like not feeling enough as if they're enough for the feminine. So, I'm, okay. So I'm getting something in that, in that area. I want to clarify, but you know, let's keep going. Um, the sun is here. The sun is here. So it's not as dark as the masculine thinks. It's bright here. Um, this is the happiest card in the deck. But uh, there's something that the masculine sees. I mean, the, the sun brings clarity. It's like he sees something in a certain light. Uh, we have the two of cups here. Um... I mean, the two of cups is the two coming together. Followed by the hangman, which is like a pause. Um, there's a pause here. I'm going to keep going. Let me see what the overall energy is. The overall is the king of wands. The masculine is going to have to uh, take a lead here, guys. Something is calling for the masculine to have courage, take a lead, be assertive, initiate, be more confident. Uh, this is uh, the overall energy. King of Wands, some of you could be dealing with uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This is Leo with the sun. But something's at a standstill. And I'm feeling so, a, a very strong pull towards the feminine here with the two of cups. The two are drawn to one another. It's almost like wanting to come back together. Feeling a sense of lack, like something's missing here. And the feminine has gone cold. Ice cold. Um... Hmm, interesting. So let's take a look 
yeah, there's like, there's been a, some kind of painful ending here for the masculine. Uh, here, 10 of swords. So something's ending here. It's almost like this had to happen to shift someone's perspective with the hangman. There's stalled energy. There's stalled energy. I'm going to clarify. Hangman. Why is hangman here? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Queen of Swords again. So some of you could be dealing with Libra, uh, Gemini, Aquarius. I'm getting air signs. Difficult ending here. For the masculine. The, the feminine, again, I'm going to say has gone very cold. Masculine's not feeling the feminine's energy. So this is putting him like a sense of a, vo a void here. Something's missing, not feeling up to par. Lacking confidence here. Five of Pentacles. Why is it Five of Pentacles? Lacking the confidence to initiate, take action. Feeling, still feeling that passion here. Ace of Wands for the feminine, but lacking the strength. Yeah, lacking the power to take control. The masculine is needing to um, take action because I am feeling a standstill. Nothing's happening. Something's not being seen. Something's not being seen in the right way. Hangman is upside down. View needs to change. There needs to be a 180 on the view in order to um, to get things moving here. Something's not being seen. I'm going to keep going. Before I over clarify, I don't want to over clarify. I feel like we'll get what we need as we keep going up. Oh, Emperor. Emperor is here. Yeah, this message is pretty, it's coming out here. Uh, Maskin is going to have to do things that um, like a person who is in control would do. A person who um, has control of their life would do. So if... The masculine doesn't. Okay, this is in the masculine's control. This is what I'm getting. The emperor. The emperor rules the empire. So it's almost like this changes or this takes the, the turn that the masculine takes it. If that makes sense. It's in the. Yep. Wow. As I'm saying it. Look at that. It's in the masculine's control. So whether or not. The, the mask. Masculines, if you don't know that, you know that now. We have the magician here twice. And we have all this masculine energy. Emperor King Wan says take control. So um uh, the feminine has taken a back seat. That's what it is. Uh, letting the, yeah, letting the uh, masculine lead the way. Because, uh, exactly. Masculines, that's their natural role to lead. Again, I'm not being gender specific. However, this is what's happening. Uh, the masculine is being given the chance to lead. So feminine could have been leading before. So the roles may be just changing. The feminine could have been playing the masculine role. The feminine is being pulled back so that the masculine can take control of the situation. And that's actually a part of the lesson. Otherwise, there will be a standstill here. Yes. Wheel of Fortune. This is what will get things moving the wheel turning. And not only that, uh, this is actually what will be in favor of the connection. This is how it's destined to happen. So we have the Queen of Pentacles here. We have another queen showing her back. 
showing her back. This is um, someone who's grounded and stable, but they're not really the, so if the feminine used to be the one showing up, she's being pulled back. She was cut out from the equation. She's taking a back seat, basically, because that's what's going to, um, it's going to give the masculine the ability to lead. I mean, masculines usually want to lead. That's stepping into their role. But if the masculine doesn't, it's almost like saying, I'm not up for it. So this will let the feminine know. Okay, the masculine, he's realizing that he has to take control. He's realizing that it's in his hands, like the power is in his hands, literally in his hands. Uh, doing some kind of juggling act, like, you know, like taking his time, whether or not throwing it up in the air. Uh, this is up to the masculine. Uh, and I, I feel like the masculine knows. So it's going to, it's going to ask or require more. This is what the masculine refused to see or is now beginning to see that it, it's, it's up to him. Okay. Up to the masculine. There's a, some sense of clarity here. Yeah. It's up to the masculine to make the offer. If if there's going to be a new beginning or a restart here, which the power is in his hands, two aces, it's going to require the masculine to take the lead and to do this. Okay? Because I just see the feminines back. Um, next we have, yeah. Nine of Swords, uh, this is actually on the masculine's mind quite a bit. Quite a bit. Up at night, can't sleep, thinking about this, um, what to do. Nine of Swords, there's a lot of worry. There's a lot of worry. And then we end with... Temperance. Temperance. You're being, you're being visited by someone who's trying to guide and give you advice on this. Because there's a balance and harmony that can be restored in this connection. Two of Cups. Um, this can come back together. Wheel of Fortune is here. The Sun is here. Ace of Cups. Ace of Wands, I'm feeling very strong passion here. These two cards together, be careful. Okay, these two cards is passionate and lovemaking. Um, there's like a strong pull towards two people here, obviously. But there's something, a pattern that had to end. This seems to be very difficult for the masculine, looking at the destruction at, wow, did I do this? It's this what it has to come to? I don't know. I feel like the masculine feels like he played a role in the difficult ending. Um, there is some guilt here. But it's time to step up. Step it up is what I'm getting. Here, the, and the masculine knows this, so it's like trying to, um, there's something about, with this five of pentacles, like not feeling enough to miss the, um, the, the feminine queen is, yeah, balance, harmony. Uh, this is actually supported. Some of you can be dealing with Sagittarius. Aries is here. Leo. Yeah, fire signs are here. King of Wands at the bottom. All fire signs showed up. And Sagittarius is here twice. So, both the feminine and the masculine is dealing with this release control. And it seems like the feminine has, has done that. 
just listen what will be will be what's destined to happen will happen with the will of fortune uh taking a back seat allowing the masculine to lead so this is almost like it's up to the masculine from here because the feminine has been pulled back i'm going to um let's get into the masculine the feminine's perspective here Okay, let's take a look. So I'm just going to flip the cards, guys, and we see what the feminine feels. Yeah, the, the, the feminine is uh, focused on other things. I'm getting a very serious energy here, as in um, not wanting anyone to really mess with what she's worked hard for. Um. There is something she's worrying about, though. Something is worrying the feminine. She's, it's like, not knowing what to do. The feminine's having a very hard time with this. Okay, trying to be strong here. This is, a, the sun card is here. This is a masculine. This is the feminine. There's, it's not bright. If anything, she's being watched here. There's two watch, watch guards, and then there's a tower with an eye on it. I don't know if you guys can see this eye. There's an eye. It's like the feminine is being watched or feels, feels like a target. trying to protect herself honestly there's a tower here she's she's being protected yeah she's being protected the feminine is being protected there's no tower here on this side but there's a tower it's like she needs to be protected there's two people watching over the feminine and um she's aware of this it's almost like taming herself the feminine Taming herself, gaining her strength. To pull back. There's a lot of constraint here, even though it's hard with the Five of Pentacles. See, there's going to be a new beginning here. Well, that's what the feminine wants here. This is the Ace, Ace of Cups. Oh, and the Ace of Cups came up earlier. So both wants this, because in this deck, the Ace of Cups is actually this fountain with the feminine on it. And this is the feminine side. It's bright here. The masculine is not sure if it will come. It's dark on the masculine side. So the feminine is like, if it's meant to be, it will be. And actually, she's being a little bit more optimistic that it will come together. Even though there's worry, let me turn all the cards over. Otherwise, I will forget which ones I turned over. Yeah. It's like she's hoping that the masculine is able to. My gosh, guess what? This is not temperance. Temperance came out earlier, but this is, some of you are dealing with an Aquarius. This is Aquarius. This is the star card. This actually, <laughs> yeah. So this is actually you, you, what you both wish for. If both remain optimistic, you can bring this together. This is it coming true. Dreams coming true. This is remaining optimistic and having faith and understanding oh wow yeah so the masculine is being visited by uh i can say angels but spirits that support this union trying to keep the masculine balanced there's a healing happening for the masculine but it's it's still hard there's rain here okay there's rain here it's a clear sky clear night sky here 
And not only that, there's something flying above. It's more, uh, the feminine is a little bit more relaxed here. Okay. The masculine is having a hard time believing that this would come back together. That's why they're being visited. So, excuse me, I was calling this temperance. This is actually um, the star card, Aquarius. Here, and this is the feminine's view. Remaining calm, collected, yeah, hopeful, positive, uh, focusing on herself, her coins, rebuilding. I'm, I'm feeling rebuilding, foundation stronger here, um, getting over and starting to realize things. You know, this one is able to sit up straight and realize the swords are bright and they're no longer going through her. No longer worried. The masculine is still in their worry state. Okay. Can't sleep. Uh, the feminine is getting over it, sitting up straight, seeing, seeing things a little bit more clearly. Um, so let me get back over here. Uh, she may feel like the masculine is still tied to certain ways of seeing things this uh is a pause and then not only that it is a little bit the feminine's view of why things are stalled is a little bit more um seeing it as the masculine being tied to something a belief system there's like a snake right here and it's almost like whispering in the masculine's ear. This is how she sees like him being affected by negative things in his environment, whatever it could be. The masculine is here. It's like on the masculine side, there's clarity. There is like, it's not all that darkness back there. She sees it as if there is like, so if, if the masculine is going through a transformation and change, the feminine is not looking at it in that way, even though that's what would actually uh, support the connection. It's almost like she sees the masculine is still having work to do. Yeah, as if these knives came from the masculine's hand. This was the masculine side. This is feminine. Feeling like the difficult ending was at his hand. Because him, he was being tied to certain belief systems or ways of doing or seeing things. Needing to change his perspective. Um, the feminine doesn't feel like he's really stepping up to the plate. He's giving her his back. He's not being passionate enough here. He's not inspired enough. He's here. I don't know if he's still thinking, throwing that ball in the air. She just, she just feels his back as if he's not doing anything. Um, again, with the magician. She is hoping though. I mean, the infinity is lit up up there. Here, it's a, a little bit more dim, but it's more light here, her view. Um, knowing that he has the power, she, it's like recognizing that it's in his hands. Here, yep. And this reminds me of the um, of this card, actually. If you look at it, they're actually almost identical. So this is the Wheel of Fortune. So this is the, the feminine's view. This was the masculine's. This is the feminine saying the power is, is in the masculine's hand. He is the magician. He needs to take control. And actually he's holding the onk. He's holding the onk instead of this double-sided, uh, I guess you could say, sword. Um... He's holding the onk that the emperor holds. So it's 
This is like emperor, magician mixed together will get the wheels turning. That's how the feminine is feeling. If the masculine can realize his power and take control of the situation. And uh, it's like leaving it in the universe hands and let what will be will be. Let destiny take control. That is the feminine's perspective. Focusing on herself. Some of you could be dealing with earth signs here. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. But yeah, it's like getting over the darkness and starting to see the lighter side, the positive side. The feminine is trying to remain positive. Um, hmm. Let's see. Star. Why is the star here? Okay. Yep. Wanting to, to come together. Here we have the lovers. Remaining positive that the union will happen. Here with the lovers. Some of you could be dealing with Gemini. Um, why is the Five of Pentacles here? Okay. The Three of Cups is in reverse. This is like the feminine's worst fear. The, the Three of Cups is a good card. Celebrate, celebrating, um, having a good time. In reverse, it's like those days are over. Okay, in upright, it can be reunion or good news that's coming. Uh, in reverse, it's like this is the feminine does not want that does not want it to not come back okay that is giving her anxieties here there's something something that was supposed to be celebrated is not being celebrated something could have been canceled uh, that's what i'm hearing i don't know if some of you had plans with this person and you're supposed to be i don't know maybe taking a trip or doing something I'm, I'm seeing it being canceled. Plans being canceled here. Um, probably plans that were made a long time ago. Um, but she smiles. When it comes to career, the feminine is doing okay. She's all right. I feel like this is her security blanket. It's what she does for a living. Yeah, taking action. There's there's things actually going on in the feminine's life. There's action. Some feminines have at, um, options. There may be other, other prospects here for the feminine. I see, I see other, um, options for the feminine if the masculine doesn't take control i do see other options here okay um but the, the there's this there's this lighter energy here where the feminine is starting to see the situation in a in a certain manner but taking a step back and focusing on self on career after cutting this out turning turning her back on it Okay. Uh, yeah. Oof. Nine and ten of pentacles here again. This is why the feminine had to pull her energy back. It was a lot of stress and worry, concerns. Uh, and it was, the pain was just like being stabbed in the back. This one, the ten of swords is stabbed in the chest. It's like the feminine has been stabbed all over. It's, but she's getting over it on this nine of swords. These swords are no longer piercing. It's no longer having these nights that you can't sleep. Now getting over it is what I'm getting. And that's what caused the feminine to cut her energy off. It was very, very taxing. So the feminine is looking at this as what will be, will be. If the masculine takes control, then, you know, there's um, opportunity. I do see the feminine is hoping 
for a reunion here, hoping that it can come together. Remaining positive, but every now and again, I do see where uh, the feminine is uh, worried that the reunion will not happen, okay? Now, um, that's basically it. That's, that's what I got. Masculine's gonna have to uh, take the wheel here. So there's no extended on this. I'm gonna leave it there. Um, I'm not pulling any more cards. The purpose is this is so that you can see both sides here. Uh, but I'm, I am offering a compatibility report and there's more on that after this, okay, Cancer? So that's it. I hope that this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. This is a sample of the compatibility report. And what this report does is it connects the energy of two individuals and explain what you experience when you are together. So this basically tells you the areas that are easy and or challenging in the relationship. The compatibility report explains how your relationship will be experienced by both of you. So each of you separately, individually. It helps you understand and become more aware of the role the person is playing in your life. This report is not used only for romantic connections, but it can also be used for business partnerships and other relationship dynamics. So it would require the date of birth of each person. It'll let you know if you're dealing with a karmic relationship, if the connection is a past life connection. So it's specific and it's supposed to help you understand the role this person plays in your life. So if you are interested in one of these reports, the information is in the description box.